Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're gonna be talking about a perfect polluted oxygen filter. Now, of course, this polluted oxygen filter that we're gonna be designing is based off of the deodorizer and a couple of little tricks that we use to utilize the deodorizer and of course get what's called a perfect filter off of the sublimation building and the polluted oxygen vent. Sometimes when you have these buildings, having the polluted oxygen is not good because it gives you a yucky lungs debuff. And this filter design is going to showcase to you how you're going to be able to grab the polluted oxygen, have the deodorizers actually convert that back into regular oxygen without letting any of the polluted oxygen out. The uh, setup is very straightforward. We're using deodorizers. So let's go into that first. The deodorizer, the building in and of itself is like so. Now, what people don't know with the deodorizer is that the active range of the deodorizer is actually two tiles in the north, south, east, west, and then one tile omnidirectionally. So that is the immediate range of the deodorizer. Now, another thing about it though, is that it cannot deodorize polluted oxygen that's behind a wall. So even if there was polluted oxygen on this specific tile that it's in with, uh, within range of, if this is a solid tile, it's not going to be able to pick that up and create oxygen. Now, that being said, we'll leave this here just to show you the range of the deodorizer. Now, over here, we did a simple design where we have a airflow and then a mesh tile on top of it. This allows gas to inhabit this space while we put a liquid on this space. So the mesh tiles, you could see right here, we have a layer of crude oil, volume doesn't matter. You just need enough to constantly have a solid layer always spread out. Now I chose crude oil because you could see that it's very cold on my map, minus six, minus eight, regular water would freeze and you don't want typically anything that off gases like polluted water. But that's the simple design and how we're applying it. Now, because of the range of it and the, the crude oil over there, the polluted oxygen that we generate is basically trapped inside the box, inside the polluted oxygen vent, you guys could see. And because of the two tile pickup radius, the deodorizer here is able to deodorize polluted oxygen on this tile and this tile. And this is the tile that's important. When that happens, the deodorizer pulls the polluted oxygen to the building. And that's actually how the oxygen teleports across. The oxygen is actually brought out where the building is. It spawns on the building while the polluted oxygen in that radius gets deleted. This is how we're able to draw the polluted oxygen across the layer of water so that none of the polluted oxygen ever leaks out. This design is very good to have on a polluted water vent, polluted oxygen vent, as the water will off gas. So might as well, you can just convert that into oxygen, if so you choose to do so. Now, the caveat with the deodorizer, of course, is that it never stops filtering out. Meaning as long as there's polluted oxygen, it's going to continue filtering out, which is actually how we got this problem, where we have about 6.5 kilograms of oxygen per tile, because every time this erupts, they constantly just filter it out. So this may cause popped eardrums for you. So be warned about that. Now for the sublimation building, you actually would be better off with a design like so. The design like so allows your duplicates to actually put polluted dirt from the left. The port for your duplicates to deliver the dirt actually on this tile your dupes are going to be able to deliver two tiles of space so your dupe would stand here and deliver the polluted dirt if you wanted to put more of the subliminal stations you cannot have them in the same box you have to make separate ones if you were to put the opening on the right side you would actually not be able to supply with polluted dirt unless you actually add in a auto sweeper that has a longer range. Of course, your deodorizers require sand and power, five watts each. But this design is the perfect deodorizer filter for when you have a sublimation station, a polluted oxygen vent, or anything that you guys have that creates polluted oxygen in mass and you just wanna filter it out without having to deal with the debuff. 
But of course, guys, if you guys have any questions about the design, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.